G'day and welcome back. We are back in Queensland at the moment. So we travel back, we plan on packing the house up, a couple months worth of work, and then we're sending it back to the Territory for good. So hang around like a mongrel dog. There'll be some more Territory uh, episodes coming up, hopefully early next year, but stay tuned for those. For now, we are just packing. We are, we're sending it to Fraser. So the plan is to get the big girl up off Wadi, um, start doing a few deep drops. We're chasing a few big reds, pearlies. Um, the weather has turned pretty shit house on us, unfortunately, for next week. This week has been Mickey Mouse glasses, uh, glass outs. So uh, it's normally the way while you're at work, the weather's always, um, always good when you got time to get away turns it on but anyways uh, that's the plan at the moment try and get up there and uh, chase a few big reds thought we'd run through a little bit of what we're taking with us um, up there M quite a few people go to Fraser not too many people tow six meter boats up there unless they're pretty experienced traveling uh, offshore that's not us uh, this is our first time on Fraser with the big girl so um, had a few tips from a couple of locals, a couple of fellas that have been up there before. Um, hardest part's getting out through the breakers, so you've got to make sure you've got a pretty decent uh, weather window, which we might not have by the looks of it. So, uh, yeah, we've just got to play it by ear for a little bit. Um, we might rip over to the west side first, I think is going to be the plan, try and get over there, chase a few tuna or mackies on, on the inside of Fraser, and then, uh, yeah, from there we'll, we'll send it out wide. But uh, yeah, enough of the boring stuff. Packing, we'll I'll show you a bit of what we packed in the canopy, a bit of what we throw in the boat, and then uh, I'll see you over there, I suppose. Kitchen side of the canopy is pretty basic. We don't have too much in here. Fridge goes in this location. Snack drawer here. Pantry with all the goodies. You've seen most of this on our last episode anyway. Um, all our cooking gear lives up in this little hidey hole. Go around the other side, this is where the Tetris begins. Up in here. So, beers esky. Uh, what's in that? That is our hot water shower system. Jenny, that's to run the fridges and stuff when we're away. Couple mats in the bags up the back so sand doesn't get everywhere. More beers, GoPro gear. Chairs, boogie boards, sandcastle stuff for the kids. Uh, this is our clothes drawer. Well, not at the moment, but yeah, our clothes live in this little location. Tools drawers. Happy days. So, canopy is pretty packed. Got a fair bit of weight on the big girl. I think she comes in at about 3.3 ton. Um, yeah, the Ranger. She definitely knows there's a bit of a load on it, but we'll go to the boat. In the boat, all the go juice. Uh, so we've got 100 of diesel, 40 of petrol, and then the boat holds 300 of petrol as well. So we shouldn't need any more unleaded for the big girl. We should have enough for what we plan on doing. Um, off the top of Wadi, it's like 20Ks to the shelf. So yeah, we won't be going too far at all. Um, anyone that's been to Fraser will know that Fraser Island is the most expensive place in Australia for fuel. Um, last time I was there, it was $2.30 a litre. Uh, that's the most expensive fuel I've ever paid for anywhere in Australia. It didn't, doesn't matter whether it's the top, the west. Yeah, um, rightfully so, so it should be. Um, every Tom, Dick and Harry can't even get their little 4x4 through Double Island, so how can they get 5,000 litres of petrol over there without charging uh, an arm and a leg for it? Uh, but for me, it's just easier to take my own fuel. Um, yeah. So the big girl, she holds 100, plus 100 to 200 litres. The Ranger is thirsty. Uh, it does drink a fair bit of juice when I'm towing the big girl and on the sand it's gonna drink even more. So uh, yeah, I'm just taking a fair bit with me just to be on the safe side. Um, I'll jump up in the boat. There's not too much up in here yet. So we have, uh, just gonna have the esky at the back. Fuel sits here. 
Um, it's got the lead going in at the moment, charging a few batteries up and having a little bit of electrical trouble. Uh, and then last but not least is the canopy legs. They live in that box and they sit up in here too. So that's about it. I think, uh, yeah, we'll head off and we'll see you over there. Thanks for coming. Just knocked off work, got the big girl loaded up. We are sending it east. We'll see you down the track. Good morning, righto. So last night we punched a couple of hours into the night. We made it to Inskip Point, uh, camped up here. Head back to Rainbow this morning, grab some ice, bit of bait. We've just let the tires down and we are sending it for the barge. So straight through Inskip and we'll see you when we get to Fraser. We're at Eli Creek. We just punched through from the barge this morning. Uh, tide was a probably a little bit higher than what we anticipated, and it was a bit of a slog, but we got here. Uh, yeah, kids having a bit of a swim, a bit of lunch, before we send it to the west side. Do you want to wrap sand up? Uh, no, thanks. After lunch at Eli Creek, I decided to run the gauntlet on high tide. Unfortunately, I found myself in a sticky situation. I had good momentum coming down the beach, but Passed a tour bus who pushed me high up into the soft stuff and found myself on the diff. A quick dig with a few max tracks and two attempts later we were back underway. Big thank you to the fellows who pulled up to lend us an extra set of max tracks. Unfortunately, we'd missed our weather window for the east coast and instead decided to brave the inland tracks and head to the west coast.
How good's this? We're just dragging the big boat across Warley Road to the west coast. Uh, it's pretty overgrown and tight. Sands very soft at the moment. Just heading up to Knife Blade Lookout. So we've got a bit of a jump up, up a bit of soft sand here at the moment. Uh, the boat, the boat is heavy and it's dragging outside of our tire track. So it is pulling us up a fair bit. Um, that was one thing I was looking at during the build of the boat. I did want it inside the tire tracks to run the same tire track. I just couldn't get it with the size of the boat, unfortunately. Um, it would have just lifted the height of the boat too much. We'll keep cruising. Well, we made it. We're on the west coast. Definitely not the first. We won't be the last, but it's a mission nonetheless. It uh, took us two and a half hours to get across from the east coast. It's only about 21 k's, but the road is overgrown. It's pretty tight for a six metre boat, and it is quite soft. So there are a couple of couple of sections we had to give it some berries to get through but other than that it's really not that bad um, pick your speed pick your line is probably the worst there's a few tracks off the side here and there but other than that it was uh, yeah pretty sweet camped up on the west coast for three or four days now before we uh, send it back the weather's looking pretty horrid for the east coast so we're not really gonna yeah you tell them it's bad hey <laughs> Yeah, the weather on the east coast is not good, so we're not going to get a chance to get off uh, off Wadi, unfortunately. That was the main plan, but for now, we will send it out into the blue. Try and get a tuna, a mackie, something like that tomorrow. Uh, there's, I've got a couple marks out a little bit wider, depending on the weather window. Might try and have a drop, see if we get a tusky or maybe a trout, something like that. A couple of fellas fishing on the beach earlier, got a couple of sharks, a few whiting, so might have a fish asavi and go from there. We'll uh, go and tackle some of these kids and then, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Mine 
Hang up a bit, bub. One, two. That's it. Hook him a little bit. That's it. Down, like this. One, 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 one down. Yep, that's it. One, 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 one. Bring him in. What do you got, you reckon? Oh, another whiting. Bring him here. What'd you get? A whiting. Tell hold, me. Hold it up. A yeah. whiting. Hold it up. Show the camera. Hold it up. Hey. Wind it a bit, Dylan. Wind it. Hook him. Is he there? Yeah. Wind, yeah, wind him. Wind it in. That's it. Wind him in. Is he there? You feel it kicking? Go! Wine, wine! Bring him in! Keep on! Keep going, keep winding. Oh, you dropped him. <laughs> what happened? That was a big way! Get him? Fish. Are we catching fish? How good's this? West Coast living. No, I'm just gonna keep losing your bait. <laughs> catching a few little whiting from the swim. Boats up there, camp. How's this? Gotta watch the sun go down. Sun go down over the water. A few drinks. How good. Courtney wasn't yet aware, but I'd been planning a little afternoon surprise. It was almost all over before it started as I dropped the ring in the sand. Oh my god, are you f***ing serious? Yeah? Oh my god, really? Look at this Oh my god! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! What did I give mum? A ring. What 